Okay. Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. Today I'm going to show you how to secure a knowledge bases or articles. Okay, let's see. So how we can secure the knowledge bases or articles? We use user criteria. Okay, so we use user criteria. So in this topic, we are covering there are four objects. Create user criteria how we can create user criteria how we can assign user criteria how we can run diagnostics under the user criteria okay how to configure knowledge bases for unauthenticated users okay so these four topics uh, we are going to learn today and the, with these four topics uh, we are securing our knowledge bases or articles Let's see how we will secure using user criteria. Okay. Log in to your instance or a personal instance or customer instance. Okay. Go to the knowledge, knowledge module. Okay. No, let's module. Okay. Under knowledge module, you have it's like user criteria okay click on this one so uh, you need to define your uh, user criteria you need to create your user criteria okay for example i have already created a two user criteria okay let's open okay one user criteria is for all itl users okay so this is for all itl i all itl users okay i have added roles itl okay so uh for example if i add any user and any group and any roles okay then i need to uh combine all these three things then i need to select a match all in the user criteria okay if you have companies if you have location if you have depend de uh, departments based upon the departments you need to show the articles based upon the locations you need to show articles so you can um, you can select whatever you want okay based upon your requirement and also based upon the requirement if you have any scripts you can write and uh, the answer is equal to uh, set the value answer is equal to true or false based upon the answer value it will execute the user criteria okay so the same way i have created another uh, uh, user criteria called database group okay it will be uh, this user criteria is only available for group database okay and let's see who all in this database group there are two members one it is uh bet bet and fed Lodi. okay so now how we will uh, assign this user criteria to knowledge bases or articles let's see okay go to the knowledge module okay under knowledge module go to the knowledge basis okay so before we created a snow docs okay let's use this one snow docs as a uh, example okay so snow docs uh, how can we assign this uh, user criteria is like uh, for example who can read this article knowledge base and who can read the knowledge articles inside this knowledge base can be defined by can read can read Okay, so in this can read, I will add uh, all ITL users. Okay, all ITL users can read this knowledge base or knowledge articles. Okay, and save it. And who can edit and who can write a knowledge articles, create a knowledge articles in knowledge base. Okay, uh, we will decide can contribute. Okay, in this can contribute, I will add database group which we created it. Okay, database group. Now let's test it. 
Okay, we have four articles. Okay, four knowledge articles inside this, and uh, uh, four. Uh, I mean, four knowledge like test one inside two knowledge articles only. Okay, test one, two, three, four, and test, test, test. Okay, so let's see who can see this and who cannot see this. Let me go impose net with end user Abel Tutor. Okay, end user they are called Abel Tutor. I'm impersonating him. Okay. Go to the knowledge home page. Okay. So in the knowledge home page, okay, he can see IT and knowledge. And also he cannot see create a new article because he is an end user. He is a not a part of ITL users or not a part of database group. So that's the reason uh, he is not able to create or view the articles. Let's impersonate with ITL user. Okay. Impersonate with another user. ITL user. Okay. Okay, uh, let's go to uh, knowledge homepage. Okay, let's close all these things. Go to knowledge home knowledge homepage. So here the ITL users, uh, ITL users don't have permissions to create only the database group. In this database group, there is no ITL user. Okay, so if I go here and click on knowledge norm okay so i can see i can read okay and in the admin category i have test one two three four i can read it but i cannot create any uh, new articles as an itl user okay and let's impersonate with the uh, fred ludi okay what is his name FRED Fred Luty. Okay. So so the no user. Let's impersonate with the Beth um, Angeline. Okay. Impersonate. Okay, now go to, uh, let's close this one. Okay, now go to knowledge. Now go to knowledge. So she can see the knowledge articles and she can able to create an article. Okay, if I able to create an article under snow docs or standard temp article template. Okay, and I can select, for example, Let's uh, wait to load. Okay. See, I can select Snow Docs. Okay, because I have given uh, permission only to the database group. And inside the database group, Beth Angeline is an user. Okay. So that is how uh, we can assign a user criteria to the particular uh, users. And now, if I let's end the impersonation and impersonation okay go to all go to all okay and uh, click on knowledge i mean type knowledge under knowledge you have user criteria diagnostics, okay? So you can uh, select user and you can select any article and you can uh, diagnostic which user is like. For example, if I select um, uh, Abel Tutor, okay? Abel Tutor, our knowledge base I will select. I will select our knowledge base is Snowdocs, okay? And diagnosis. Let's see, see, 
no access. Okay, we tested a build total also, no access. ITIL user we will see. Okay, so ITIL user only read access. Okay, now uh, Beth align. Okay, let's see. See, read and contribute access. Okay, so under related links, you can see view knowledge base accessible to authenticated, unauthenticated users. Click on this one. Okay, no knowledge bar are accessible for uh, unauthenticated users. Okay, so why? Uh, why? Because if I go to all on the knowledge basis, okay, knowledge basis, okay, and if I go to uh, knowledge, there is some user criteria is defined. So that's why uh, no, uh, no, I mean, other unauthenticated users. IT, let's see IT. So here also it is defined. Okay, let's see knowledge in the knowledge base. Let's see snow docs. Okay, snow docs is also defined. What we will do, we will remove this one user criterias for this knowledge basis. Okay. And save. Okay, we'll remove the can contribute also. And save. Save. Okay. So now if I go and if I refresh this one, so there is nothing. Okay. For example, if I close this one and uh, go to user criteria uh, diagnostics. Okay. View knowledge basis accessible. Get public knowledge underscore basis. Okay. Let's see. So still uh, it is not accessible for unauthenticated users. Why? Because uh, we removed everything and uh, it is showing it is showing that it is still it is not accessible for another decade. So why? Because we have a, a system properties. System properties. Uh, a block is there. OK, for example, if I search with no man, OK, no man and there is an here there is a no man block access to no user criteria okay so here it is set to true so let's set to false okay let's set to false and go to user criteria and click on that one and let's see now see so the knowledge bases are accessible to unauthenticated users. Okay, see Abraham Lincoln. In this knowledge base, we are adding document related to service now. Okay, so this knowledge base is unauthenticated to no users. Okay, unauthenticated users, uh, it is accessible. So to block this, either we need to set, okay, this property to true or add user criteria for example to this knowledge base let's add again the user criteria now okay all itl users all itl users and save it okay and can contribute go to edit um, sorry, it is. Let's wait. Can contribute. Edit. Database group. And save it. Now run the same thing. View knowledge base accessible to unauthenticated users. Now see, no knowledge base is available. For unauthenticated users. So we can block 
the knowledge base accessible to unauthenticated users via the system property or user KTVF. So that is how we will secure our knowledge bases or knowledge articles. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Please do subscribe to get alerts for upcoming videos. Hope you will enjoy online service now. Thank you very much for your time.